Okay, I'll take a helicopter. Oigan, aquí hay una caja de armas. Genial, esto me puede servir. And when you're done with your call, don't forget to unmute yourself. I don't want the supplies that bad. Un pelotón podría defenderlo durante días. Asegurémonos de que no hay un pelotón allá arriba. Esperen, aquí hay una caja de armas. Hacía tiempo que quería esto. Tenemos la posible ubicación de la estación de radio de Villa y Perico. Vayan a ver. Do you want to ride? for those missiles. 
All right, back. Sorry. Ground just in time. We're going to try this mission again. This time, that get detected. And that'll be it for me. Good. So I can get back into destiny. No, I'm playing. I don't know okay. what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. You, well, you know what? Honestly, honestly, I may because sitting here thinking about it. Dude, my lunch is already made. I've already taken my shower. Literally, the only thing I really have to do is make sure that I deposit money into the bank. I may actually leave that to my wife unless she gets off early. Heck, I may actually do it because I get off today. <laughs> did you, now that I think about it. Did you only do the intro? So far. Say again. So did you all do the intro? Yeah, yeah. I only got past. Only got, did the uh, the very last cutscene intro. Now can you do that on uh, the beta? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there is a part part to the beta that they basically no no no. I played the beta right. And the beta p puts you up to one point in Destiny 2 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get it? Let me ask that. Someday. Okay. Then I, I won't say I won't say what happens. But anyhow, um, well, if you played the beta, if you've seen it, you've seen what I happens. Like you get kicked off the edge or whatever, and it looks like, huh? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Then to the beta. Okay. Well, then I'll just pay attention to that game at all. I'll just shut my. I yeah, I just shut my version. mouth. PZ version is supposed to be really good. I know that. That's it. Oh uh, yeah, but anywho, so like, uh, I played past the beta to this one point, and then they literally, uh, and I played. Uh, I basically played like, like you said, the very opening scenes and everything like that. And I'm done. But now all I have to do is literally the. Uh, now I'm to the actual missions and stuff. It's funny, like nobody's here. Yeah, remember. I know where the jammer is now, but. I'll wait for you to take that out. I'll just lie down here in the snow. Deactivate it. Sweet. You can put up your drone. I'll put up mine. That's for sure. Hmm. Sniper, sniper. Go ahead and do uh, Rebel Spotting. What? So go and do Rebel Spotting, because I'm not seeing anyone. Uh, I don't know where you're at, dude. Like, I've got most of the people spotted, but I have one person over here. We're inside the radio station. Bowman, estamos en la emisora. DJ Perico no está aquí, pero el programa se está emitiendo. Él usa esta emisora como repetidor para potenciar la señal, pero no podemos controlarla sin la clave. Utilicen el dron para escanear la antena. Inteligencia de señales recibirá los datos y podremos triangular la fuerza de la señal entrante para determinar su posición. Recibido. De toda esta conversación solo entendí escanear la antena. Hay que mantener el dron quieto hasta que se complete el escaneado. I mean, these guys must be real idiots if they don't understand a basic phone call like that. Signal intelligence is going to use they the don't, strength of look, the signals 
to triangulate the position where the actual broadcast is coming around. Why is that so hard? <laughs> Aren't these guys like mm. tier one fucking... How do I scan? Is there a button I press to scan? Or no? Uh, shouldn't be. I guess... I don't like that. I guess I need to turn my card back on. Okay. There we go. Can you go, uh, go around for one more or no? Because I know like nobody was there, so it's kind of like easy breezy. Yeah. Yeah, let me watch this video and I'll do a thing. DJ Perico, el loro. Su sueño era ser un DJ. Dicho de otro modo, gritar por encima de la canción de otro y cobrar por eso. DJ Perico! Por suerte para la industria musical, la vida se interpuso en su camino. Camello a los 13, cargos por crack a los 14, intento de asesinato a los 15. En lugar de irse al bote, se alargó a México. Tenía un primo en Santa Blanca. Consiguió trabajo de sicario, un mercenario. Pero si hubieran investigado en Santa Blanca, sabrían que solo fue un intento de asesinato. En pocas palabras, el tipo era un fracaso. No le dio dos tipos en el asiento delantero de un todoterreno. ¿Cómo se puede fallar eso? Era cuestión de tiempo que le tocara las pelotas a todos y cada uno de los miembros del cártel y lanzaran su cuerpo por la frontera. Pero al sueño le caía bien. Perico lo entretenía. No serviría para disparar balas, pero sí palabras, así que... ¡Buenos días, Bolivia! El sueño le encontró un trabajo, Radio Pirata, donde hacía propaganda y difundía la buena palabra de Santa Blanca. You know what would be funny? That would actually be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Now that I think about it. You know how you said, does anybody, like, try to turn the stuff back on, like, after you turned it off, if you don't destroy it, right? Yeah. You know what would be funny, as far as a trap? Like turn it off, right? They go to turn it back on, but you got like a mine planet right in front of the little uh, yeah. thing that they need to turn it on. <laughs> It's like some uh, Metal Gear Solid Five shit. You know, you'd really like uh, <laughs> you like Metal Gear Solid Five a lot. <laughs> like, dude, that would be hilarious. <laughs> like they would go to turn it back on and immediately just die. <laughs> yeah. Like, could you imagine, could you imagining, could you imagine being a witness to that, though? Some Splinter Cell shit, dude. Tenemos la ubicación de... What? I want the information, I just don't have to stay in the menu. Tenemos la ubicación de Perico. Vaya. So stupid. What is wrong with this game today? Tenemos la ubicación de Perico. Vayan por ese idiota para que les dé la clave de cifrado. Okay. Vamos a convertir radio. Let's get in the truck and let's just go. Got a truck right here. Where are you at? Okay. Did you hear this? Jesus. What well, hear what? Did you did you hear him? No. Did you hear the radio station? No at all. Oh. Oh man. Absolutely hilarious. Like DJ Perico, right? Mm -hmm. 
he had this uh, contest talk about congratulations, you won your own low, low rider bicycle. <laughs> yeah, so you you win your, win your own low rider bicycle. <laughs> He's like, what the f DJ Perico? <laughs> He's like, do you expect me to ride around? Uh, He's like, how the f do you expect me to ride around Bolivia on a lowrider bicycle? <laughs> See, for me, all the radio stations are also in uh, Castilian. So, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. And they don't subtitle me. Shoot. Really. You what happened? They don't subtitle the radio. Oh. Yeah, look out. I'm just driving through here. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. I guess so. I'm still bothered about that line about these fucking ghosts not understanding basic signal intelligence. Maybe they just don't understand radio signals. Come on, Jairus. Well, there's always one guy. It's I so mean, basic, he's man. probably just the grunt. Look, he's probably just the grunt. He probably just likes to shoot stuff. You know, the rest of them. Because look, think, obviously, I don't, you, a ghost. I don't think you become a ghost if you're just a grunt. I don't. <laughs> like this is like the best in the fucking world, man. <laughs> you don't know about. You have a point. Signals? You should. Look, you have a point. You shouldn't be a ghost if you don't know what the heck <laughs> signal intelligence is. <laughs> exactly. Just you should, you should, you shouldn't be a ghost if you don't know how to, like you said, triangulate radio, radio broadcasts. Like, yeah, you probably shouldn't be. I just, I just seen it so much in writing that it's just gotten so old where you have the like soldier. Like speak English, goddammit. Even though it's like pretty basic shit. You know what? We are not about to do this. We're not about to do this. Where's that helicopter? That stupid ass helicopter that spotted us. That should have just been flying around doing whatever. Where's the people at? Come on. Come on. There you go. Get out of here. Yeah, tired of the unit ahead. It landed on our car. That's fucking great. Ah, uh, look at that car. You better come on. Come on, dude. Don't even worry about that. Yeah, say, come on, dude. Don't even worry about that. We could actually lose the patrol. There we go. That's what I wanted. I just needed us to lose the patrol before we continue on this stupid mission. I'm climbing the uh, I'm climbing the side here, cause I don't like I hate dealing with Unidad sometimes. Like I understand that they're a necessary evil mm -hmm. within this storyline, but I hate dealing with them at times. It's like, dude, whatever. I'm trying to actually progress. <laughs> exactly. Like I have other things I need to do rather than get into some stupid shootout with you guys. You just keep sending more and more people because that's what you guys do. Stop it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, I don't even know where to start at, so I'm just going to go towards the beacon. I think I destroyed a missile, either a missile thing or a drone jammer. Uh, it was a missile thing. Because those are those are uh, all around this this thing here, which if you haven't got the the.
question mark for this area yet it's Sueño's mausoleum. That's why it looks so grand and so heavily protected. Even though I don't think it's that heavily protected. It just looks like it. Jesus. Okay, so how do we get up there? That's what I want to know. How we get up this way. Mm, exactly. Yep, it looks like we can get up this way. Please, Lord, let me be able to get up this way. Because <sighs> I don't want to go all the way around. Crap, we can't. Prison workers See? live here. Stupid, stupid, stupid Unidad. They caused this. Are you sure it wasn't when you got out and shot the helicopter and landed on our vehicle? Oh, number one, I didn't expect it to land on the vehicle. That's okay. never happened. Number two, uh, number two, it, for some reason, like I've never had a, I've never had when I'm driving a unit dad helicopter spotted. So like, you weren't hanging out the window or something, were you? Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then, yeah I don't know cozy. what that was about. Yeah, I don't know what that was about then, and it. Kind of frustrating. Okay, so we should be we should be clear once we get to this side. Okay. We freaking lose it. It's the biggest problem in open world games is mountains. <laughs> Now, if we're not clear once we get on this, what the? You know what? No, no, not gonna do this. Just call a helicopter. Absolutely not gonna do this. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm absolutely not gonna do this. Where they put the helicopter at? Up there. Really? You sons of biscuits. They put the helicopter up there, where we can't get to. See, this is what I mean by calling a helicopter, calling a vehicle. Sometimes uh, the mechanics are absolutely crappy they say they put it close to you but I'm like no they don't they put it in the vicinity of <sighs> and now I haven't run it around a circle in this on this freaking mountain range to try to find a way up and all we're doing is running in a circle I swear this looks like me that's not up because that's a wall This better be something. Super stealth. We're entering a way that no one ever has before. See a crane, that's a good sign. I think. I hope so too. Not to have more attack. Sweet Moses. It looks like we skipped some enemies down the hill. Sweet Moses, you will not do this. I feel like <gasps> Jesus. I felt like uh, Achilles. Just I would not let a stone take this victory from me. <laughs> I'm trying that.
You gotta come this this way. But I'll cross over. I don't know where. Try to come back. <laughs>